In July 2017, the science journal Nature published a large-scale study of step counts recorded on the smartphones of over 700,000 people in 111 countries. It addressed the need to understand the basic principles that govern physical activity. This video shows how to download the health file from an iPhone 6 and analyze it using Microsoft Excel, in this case version 2013. You can do this without the need for downloading an additional app, simply by clicking on this icon and following the prompts. This will provide you with the data in a .xml file. However, .xml files don't always easily import into Microsoft Excel, and if you're unfamiliar with this file format, an easier option is to download an app called QS Access. This app provides the data as a .csv file, which can be easily imported into Microsoft Excel. When you open QS Access, you first indicate whether you want the data by hour or by day. In this case, I am selecting by hour. And from the drop-down menu, I am selecting distance, flights climbed, and steps. After making your selection, you tap on create table, and within a minute or two, the table can be viewed on screen, and you can send it to your email address. By default, what you receive is a CSV format file, so-called because it contains comma-separated values. And it's a good idea to rename the file so as to distinguish it from any future downloads. To import the file into an Excel workbook, you proceed as follows. With the cursor in cell A1, you click on Data, From Text, and then Browse to the file. After you click on the file, a pop-up screen appears on which you click Delimited, My Data as Headers, and then click Next. Now click Comma and Next. Leave the default at General and then click Finish. Now click OK. And this is how the imported data should look in Excel. The data can be analysed and charted in many different ways. It may also be ideal for teaching students maths and statistics, and indeed also Excel and Access, especially if the data relates to the student's own smartphone. You may wish to screenshot this image as it shows the functions which I found useful for sorting the data by hour, day, month and year, and also the less intuitive functions for displaying day name and month name. The technique I used was to create a new column and fill it with a formula that converted one of the date field columns to the selected format. The SUMIF function in Excel is also very useful when it comes to producing histograms and again you may wish to take a screenshot. The example that follows shows how to produce a histogram showing the apportionment of flights climbed over the 24 hour cycle. It involves the hour conversion and some if functions. By default, the worksheet to which we have imported the data is named Sheet 1. Creating the histogram is a three-part process. First, you add a new column to Sheet 1 and copy down the formula that will extract the hour content in each cell of column A. Second, you open a new worksheet which by default will be named Sheet 2. Title the first column with the word start and fill it with the values 0 to 23. Now create a second column headed with the word flights and copy down the formula displayed. This formula will sum all flights climbed for each hour of the 24 hour cycle. Finally, you select all of the data in worksheet 2 and use the chart wizard to produce the histogram. You now have a histogram showing the apportionment of flights climbed over the 24 hour cycle. As a check for errors, you can compare the total of flights climbed in this column on Sheet 2 with the checked total of flights climbed in column D of Sheet 1. They should both agree. A similar approach can be taken to produce histograms of step counts and distances. Health files are a good introduction to so-called big data and what it can reveal about human behaviour. The data may help to promote healthy lifestyles and it may have a role to play in the development of more pedestrian-friendly cities and neighbourhoods. It may also have significant commercial value, and at a personal level, our own data may open our minds to the extent to which our phones are keeping track of our daily activity.